random question asked in Kingston, New York. Um, grateful that I'm not a complete, complete and utter financial wreck. I'm Dakota Lane, and welcome to our show. You'll learn to play with your food, check your emotions, and your skin. But first, we'll keep on talking about pleasure and guilt. Heart because I think if we start to think about it too much, yeah. we end up being miserable because you know that that's where the thought comes in, and the thought is usually your enemy. <laughs> and what do you think about that? I'm just the opposite of that. <laughs> you know, that's where you make the smart decisions when you think huh. about things. I know, I definitely believe So it. you're thinking so that, that if you're I thinking like about me. how to enjoy yourself, I you'll be like, what you think? Yeah, what do what I want to do? Do I, do? I want to yeah. go and out there thinking, on the deck and sit in the sun like I don't, well, those I don't, years they told you yeah, weren't you, supposed to sit in the sun. It's a bad thing. So you do it <laughs> and I did it anyway. And then like, they find out it's the best thing in the world. Exactly. Now I'm going to lose it. Vitamin D. And you're thinking, you're not thinking when you're ready to have some fun. You just say, what does my heart feel like doing? Oh, I feel like a bubble bath, or I yeah. want to cook, or I want to just check my email, and you're good with that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I shouldn't be on here. Oh, take a walk, yeah. but then I'm not doing my work. Yes. Like, I'm yeah. the Woody Allen of the, <laughs> of the pleasure factor. Yeah, how would, how exactly. would, what would you say, what's the antidote for somebody that's not letting themselves just enjoy life? What, what, you said something about breathing. Yes, I agree with that. What do you think? When, when you get yourself so wound up that you, you, you're you just, you're stuck, I mean, you're immobilized, you just have to remember your breath. Okay, so, you know? Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, and and I don't Robin think... has a, if you don't mind, Robin has another idea about... Like, you don't agree with me? I don't no. think she does. No, I don't think that's the stop and think. Okay, so we have the two viewpoints. The person who, she approaches her problems with thinking, because, you know, the intellectual kind of maybe even a cultural background, you know, of thinking we're going to think through our problems. So when she's in the knots or a friend is in the knots, she'll be like, oh. And then yeah. someone who has the heart approach, and she's like, oh, let's breathe. Yeah. Okay, and speaking of breathing, we have a Tibetan Lama to talk to us about how to deal with your emotions when you're all caught up and, and not breathing. <laughs> okay. I feel guilty about right. it. But she yeah, has to cook and I can't cook to save my life. And I like to work while I'm having See, pleasure. and I don't like you that. You like to work while you're having pleasure. She doesn't like to work. And, and, and you both busy. don't really want to help other people. <laughs> <laughs> Hudson Valley women get facials and skin treatments on a regular basis. I had never done that. That's why when the River Rock Health Spa in Woodstock invited me to come by for a treatment, I said yes. I thought I'd check it out. I would have a facial and then a microdermabrasion. The esthetician let me know they would only be removing the first layer of my skin. <laughs> There's actually no pain, there's no downtime. No pain. You'll have a little bit of redness, which is totally normal. Is it just like getting a full facial tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. If you don't mind my saying, your skin looks really amazing. Thank you. And you did kind of hint that you would be willing to publicly go out with your age. I turned 65 months ago. Oh, so. happy birthday. Thank you. 
I began to feel calmer when I realized that River Rock's whole philosophy is non-aggressive and natural. interested to see what's going to happen next. What is going to happen next, Melanie? So the first step of Dakota, we're actually going to remove your makeup. I never had a stranger put cucumbers on my eyes before, but Melanie was good at it. I admitted that I had quit smoking just two years before. River Rock takes a scientific approach to analyzing your skin type, and then they custom design a treatment for you. So tune in next show to see what we did. We're here at New World Home Cooking Cafe in Saugerties to spend some time with Chef Rick Orlando, who also owns the New World Bistro Bar in Albany. Um, the importance of eating healthy is crucial, but the importance of feeling healthy and thinking healthy is just as important, your mind-body connection. And you need to play with your food. I think that the biggest quandary that we face is this idea that everything's supposed to be fast and easy. Why don't you spend an hour just listening to some John Coltrane and running your fingers through the brown rice log before you cook it? I mean, you can do so many things <laughs> that are tangible with your hands and with, you know, your, your sense of smell, olfactory high, all these things that and it does something you, to you it as does a human, something to right? You. And it also gets all the way down into your DNA. And this is a little thing we did at uh, Ulster County Mental Health and giving uh, demonstrations on having a better relationship with your food. We're letting people touch food. Now, I want to make a red lentil soup with this, for instance. And I have my lentils, and I have to pick through it for little stones. And I, I'm not saying do it for an hour. But it's kind of like the palm olive commercial. You're so good, right? <laughs> Come here. Yeah, put your hand in there. The food you cook, you don't just yeah. open a package that you actually deal with the yeah. fact that, make you know, that you, you make, make that connection. I think that goes all the way down. Look for Rick on our next show when he demonstrates an incredible roasted sweet potato salsa. They say that the key to true beauty and true health is a calm mind. But what do you do if you've been feeling a little bit on edge? How do you change your mind? So people sometimes can't sleep well. They say, I was so angry. And the next day, they feel in bad mood again and get angry again. That is a big disturbance with your physical mm -hmm. health. Okay. When you breathe out, Follow your mind after the breath. Do you breathe in? Same thing. Because your mind follows your breath, therefore you will forget the anger or jealousy that helps you to calm down. Born in Tibet, Lama Karmadi is associated with KTD Monastery in Woodstock. He's known for his clear and direct teaching method. Uh, to overcome your emotion, don't try to follow the emotion. Follow the <laughs> spider. <laughs> he make you happy. <laughs> Here's a quick exercise for in order to overcome your emotion. And here's two more things that will help you stay healthy. One is eating good food, of course, and the other is helping out. So if you need some good food or you'd like to volunteer, then you might want to go to my blog spot to check out the opportunities in Hudson Valley. Thanks for coming home to me today on Hudson Valley Wow TV, and I'll see you next episode.